Hey guys! So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you a spring slash summer haul of some of the stuff that I purchased in the last couple of weeks. The weather here has been perfect. It hasn't been too hot. It hasn't been too cold. So I've been kind of motivated to go out and buy myself some stuff that fits the season. So I am really excited about showing you some of the stuff I got. Uh, the three stores I went to are Ulta, Target, and Kohl's. And I guess I'll do them in that order. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with Ulta because I feel like the three things that I got from there are the most boring out of everything that I got. So we'll just go ahead, just get that out of the way right away. So the first thing that I got is this Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco conditioner. And really I got this because I was just looking for something that I could use like once or twice a week to help with the dryness of my hair. When the summer months come and it's really, really hot, the humidity is high, my hair is so frizzy all the time and it just makes me want to cut it all off. But it's so long now and I can't do that. So I was looking at the reviews on Ulta's website and a lot of people love this. Uh, I think it had like 4.5 out of 5 stars and the people on Ulta's website are very harsh critics. So I decided to get this. It was like $7.99 which isn't too bad and I've used it a couple of times and I really really like it. I noticed that when I use it my hair just has a different kind of texture. It's a lot softer so I appreciate that. Um, Ulta also had this deal where you could buy one of these products and get another one 50% off. So the other one that I decided to get was this Mark Anthony Oil of Morocco Argon Oil Treatment and I'm always kind of scared to use oil treatments because I know Know that if you use too much they can tend to make your hair a little bit greasy so I wouldn't want to just ruin it by using too much of a product but um, I don't know I've used this a couple times and I like it I don't know if it's like a magical product or not but I don't think I've used it enough to really say for sure that I don't really like it so I'm gonna use it a couple more times I'm gonna wait until the weather gets a little bit warmer to really see how it works I almost think this is something that might work better if you have really damaged hair you might be able to see a bigger difference than I can see because I did just get a haircut not too long ago uh, so my, I don't think my hair is really like that dead yet the third and final thing that I got from Ulta is just this bright pink nail polish. It's the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Collection. That is one of my favorite collections of nail polishes because they're really cheap but they're also really good. So this one is called Pink Punch. It's very bright and very vibrant. I don't really have many bright nail polishes in my collection so I wanted to kind of get this one and add it to it. Uh, I think it's a nice color for summer. It's really pretty so I'm excited about it. So now I'm going to move on to Target where a lot of my stuff came from, of course, it shouldn't surprise you. So the first thing is just this deodorant. It's the Degree Motion Sense in the scent Sexy Intrigue. I ran out of deodorant so I had to buy some more, of course. Um, and I like this stuff. I've been using it for so many years now and I haven't switched because it smells amazing and it gets the job done, so why not, right? Um, and then the next thing that I got was this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun Lotion and it is in the scent Coconut Papaya, which smells absolutely amazing. But really, the main reason why I wanted to buy this is because I used to have a Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Lotion, but they discontinued it, and I ran out of it, and I was so sad because it was amazing. It made my skin feel so, so soft after I got out of the sun, because when you're in the sun for a long period of time, your skin kind of gets to feel a little bit dry, so hydrating it is always really important for me, because I hate when my skin feels like it's flaky off so I'm really excited about using this I haven't really used it yet because I haven't been in the Sun very much but it has some aloe in it and it also helps to maintain the tan that you get which is cool so I'm excited about trying this a little bit more the next few things that I got are all clothing items and in a couple of weeks I'm gonna be traveling to Colorado on a plane to visit my brother he lives there he has been living there for the past two years now and I haven't been out to see him yet so I'm gonna be flying there to see him and I'm really 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 excited so I decided to get some stuff that I could wear while I'm there so I got some shorts I got this pair of shorts in like this foresty green color and they're really thin but they're also really quality feeling so I like that and I also got them in another color just this pink color I don't really love pink but I don't really have anything like it at the same time and I'm kind of trying to like embrace my femininity a little bit more and 
branch out and start wearing more pink things. So that's kind of the theme of a lot of the clothing items that I bought, is just me trying to be more girly. I am kind of more of like the t-shirt wearing and jean wearing kind of girl. So really what I'm trying to do this summer is to embrace my femininity a little bit more, which is why this next thing that I'm going to show you is a little bit scary for me. So if you guys watched my Things I Suck At video, you would have heard me say that I suck at walking in heels. So what did I go out and do? I bought a pair of heels. And I've been wearing these around the house for the past couple of days, maybe the past week. And I've gotten actually pretty good at walking in heels now, and I'm really proud of myself. I think I should give myself a pat on the back for that one. Um, I didn't fall once, which is always good. I didn't break an ankle. I didn't severely injure myself or anybody around me. I'm really proud of myself, so I'm going to stop talking about that now. I'm going to move on. The next uh, two things that I bought are skirts. And once again, embracing my femininity is not something that I'm good at, so I don't own many skirts. But I've been really intrigued by circle skirts. I love the way that they look on other girls, and they're not anything that I've ever owned before. So I just bought some. I bought this circle skirt. It's a black with um, kind of tan polka dots. And it's like a skater kind of skirt, so it comes in at the waist and then it flares out at the bottom, which is a look that I really like on me because um, I just think it flatters my figure. And then I also got it in this color. It's like a tribal kind of print, which is different than anything else that I have, so I was excited about that. The last place I went was Kohl's, and to be completely honest, clothing-wise, Kohl's is not my favorite store. For the past couple of times I've gone in there, I've just kind of looked and haven't really found anything that appealed to me too much, but this time when I went in there, they actually had some really nice stuff. So the first two things that I got are some more skirts. I got a skater skirt in this kind of pattern. It is like a navy with some lighter blue polka dots on it. And then this one, which is my favorite out of the two, it is this navy and white stripey pattern. And it almost kind of reminds me of like a nautical kind of sailor theme, so I like that. The other things that I got are shorts, and they had this great deal on shorts. They were originally $32, and they were $14.99. It was like a one-day only kind of sale. So I got five pairs, and then my mom also had a coupon for 20% off if you use your Kohl's card. Um, if you guys are like MVP members or if you're signed up with their credit card, they send you like special deals a couple of times a year. And whenever they send us like 20% off, 30% off, I always feel the need to use it because because who doesn't want 30% off of some new clothes, right? So I got five pairs of shorts, and I'm just going to show you the different colors that I got them in. They're all the same style of short. They're just in different colors. Um, so the first pair is this really bright royal blue color. And the thing that I loved about these shorts when I tried them on is that they're super thin and really soft but they're really quality and I really wanted a nice pair of thin shorts to bring on the plane with me when I travel because they won't take up too much room in my suitcase when I go to Colorado so I was just really excited about these. I also got this one, it's like black and white. I'm not really sure what this design is, it's just like a random kind of diamond design. And then this pair of white ones, they kind of have like an eyelet design, it's not necessarily lace but these are really comfortable too. And then this pair of just plain tan ones. And then this pair, navy with pink pineapples on it. Who doesn't love pineapples, right? Uh, pineapples are like the signature summer fruit, so I had to get those, and pineapples are delicious, so. So guys, that is gonna be it for my spring slash summer haul. Um, to be completely honest, Filming haul videos is not my favorite kind of video to film because I just feel like style is not necessarily my forte. My style is just really, really simple compared to a lot of other girls, so it's not something that I like to focus on too much. But still, I thought that making this video might spark some inspiration in you guys and just show you the kind of stuff that I like to wear. But what I'm going to do is put all of the links to everything that I bought in the description below so that if you guys wanted to buy anything, you could easily get to that and you won't have to search for it yourself. It'll just make things a lot easier for you guys, okay? So I think that's going to be it for today's video, but I hope that you guys have a terrific day, and I will see you in my next video.